All right, this is a trail up to the lighthouse and we're gonna look at the view, hopefully catch the sunset before it's gone. I was told there's music, but we'll see. It looked like it was going to rain today, but it didn't. Oh, there's a really trendy uh, bougie bar up here. Oh, and there's a cemetery too. Toca de amor cego. Toca, toca. So, that's where you have your big parties, your weddings. Amazing. Okay, now here's where the trail gets muddy. So luckily, it's not very muddy. It's a bit damp, but we're gonna make it. And then somebody's in the middle of building a house, a villa, I guess. It's not finished. They ran out of money, maybe. Okay. See you at the top. We're halfway there, and there's this ruin of the building, which who knows what it was. But very exotic. Oh, we're more than halfway there. There's a lighthouse. Oh, bah. So, Brazilians, they say, opa, not like the Greeks do, as a word of celebration. It's kind of like, get out of the way or look out. So, it's like, opa. So let's see, will we have a sunset to look at? <sighs> Through this jungle, I brought a flashlight in case it gets too dark here on the trail coming back. Because <sighs> I would not want to trip and fall. Because safety is the number one priority on this trip. <sighs> But you really feel like you're Indiana Jones. A real adventure, jungle adventure. Selva, selva. Wow. Mm. And just around the corner is the sunset viewing. Oh, it's packed. Look at all the people. Okay, Tiki Toki, Instagram, YouTube, you're all going to be on it. Isu, here we are, and the very last bit of the sunset. But we can try this again tomorrow. Every day is a different adventure, so you never know. There's no music. They told me there's music, but there's no music. And these people are crazy. I can't believe it. It says, Afasase, perigo, danger, peligro. Not to go out there, but they're out there. I can't believe it. Ah. So over there it is raining, it's coming down pretty heavy over there, and over there, yeah, 
and Salvador, it looks like rain. But this magical island, somehow, ever since I've been here, a few brief showers, but no major rain. So everyone's beginning to leave because the sunset's almost over. But there you go. She's just on the horizon. What I love more than the sun is the reflection on the clouds. It's like a painting. Uh, well, that's what the paint, the great uh, romantic painters achieved is that effect of the glowing clouds at sunset. And here we are in reality, tropical sunset in Moja de Sao Paulo, Bahia, Brazil. So let's check out the bar. So they make these drinks with the cocoa pod and they hollow it out and they mix it with some other fruits and alcohol and make a cocktail. So they call it cacao show and I haven't had one yet but I will before I leave. So they built this viewing platform. So on this side is a straight down drop to the ocean and then the tide is up but when the tide's down there are like these pools that form and people go down there and swim in the Piscinas Natural. I think I said it right. And these daredevil people are, I would never do that for a billion dollars. I don't know why they do it, but they're off the platform and they're like on the edge. Ah! <laughs> Obrigado, Dios. Obrigado, Dios. We thank God for another beautiful day. So here on this island uh, where they don't have uh, gas powered vehicles, they use electric vehicles. So they have an electric ambulance for their little mini hospital that I believe they said they have four beds only. Uh, but they, you know, take care of any other needs very easily. And it's so, I saw them bringing one person once it was so amazing to see them drive this little electric ambulance so yeah and because of the terrain it has to have these uh, uh, what you call those vehicles that drive off off-road vehicles so the tires can go through mud and sand so it's quite uh, an effort I guess if people they need to pick out pick up people far away from this little town but an interesting thing to see a beautiful uh, church that they have very small um, the interior is not historic at all but it's a uh, from the 1850s I believe and it's been um, I guess uh, knocked down by some storms but it's still there and the boats all these little little boats that bring they're water taxis, so they bring people to other parts of the island by water taxi. And this is one of the best restaurants on the island with this beautiful view over the port. And what's really interesting here 
uh, is that there's a very old tree that I guess died and instead of taking it totally out they made a sculpture out of it and people sit there on a bench and admire the artwork it's quite amazing this big old tree is now a work of art forever